Good morning, everybody. It's a great day for miracles, isn't it? Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Who, who, who wasn't here for the first service? Most of you. We saw many people get healed. A maid, a lady with blind or blindness to one eye, got opened her eye. And even with glasses, she couldn't see. And then after prayer, she could see perfectly. And we had people with chronic pain, all these conditions, frozen limbs get released instantly. And, you know, Jesus is the same today. And today, this is a fact, there's people here. You will not leave this place the same way you came in because you have an appointment to receive a miracle from God because he loves you very much and he's alive, isn't he, Julie? That's right. A a microphone. Yes, and there'll be fresh miracles this service at Freshwater. Welcome and good morning, church. Um, Can I have a show of hands? Who is seeing John minister for the first time this morning? The majority of you, I don't know where the old folk have been, because John's been here a number of times, but welcome. So I'll just explain how the the service will run, but to uh, reassure you that everyone who'd like prayer will be prayed for today, including the people um, at home watching online. There'll be a time when John will pray over people in their seats and for you at home, and we see people healed that way. To start with, though, John is going to share uh, a word to get us focused on Jesus, and Jesus is our healer, not John. But he does have a powerful gift on his life to see healing and miracles of every kind, whether it's for a physical need or something in your mind, your emotions, or any other area where you're believing God for a breakthrough. That's what we're here to minister to today. John will keep the the message short because he knows many people will want prayer. Then he'll go into a time of calling out people on words of knowledge or particular conditions he feels to pray for first. And he'll invite one person at a time to the front. You will see Jesus heal many people at the front. We saw this just um, an hour ago in the 8 a.m. service. Um, And then at some point, John will pray over you in your seats. And we saw in the last service, we see every uh, service, the Holy Spirit touch and heal people where they're seated without anyone laying hands on them. And that includes for people watching at home. And uh, so if your faith is there to believe that the Holy Spirit is where the believer is, He's in you if you've received Jesus. He can touch you and heal you where you are. And if you're an unbeliever, God's goodness is such that he can touch you as well to uh, demonstrate his reality and his power and his goodness. Then um, after John has uh, prayed a prayer like that, he'll also say a prayer to invite anyone who hasn't yet opened their heart to Jesus to do so today. For us, that's the most important part of the meeting. Everything else we're doing is just demonstrating the power and reality of Jesus and his goodness. Um, and, but the, the Bible says that um, the only way to receive eternal life is to have Jesus in your heart, to, to receive him as Lord. So we always make time for that. Then there'll be a pause to take up the love offering for our ministry. Then Pastor Stuart will dismiss you and there'll be refreshments and lunch here or free to fellowship or go home. And John and there'll be a team from the church will stay back and pray uh, for as many people as possible after that. And we'll be doing the same thing tonight at six. So bring your sick and unsaved friends along. If you want more prayer, you're most welcome to come to that service. So it's going to be a really powerful time this morning. God bless you all. Thank you, Julie. Actually, um, Stuart mentioned that when he came to his church down at Gold Coast, we saw many amazing miracles. But, but just after your church, the next stop was Cairns. And the first time that I ever ministered in Cairns was Christian Outreach Centre. They actually, I think they hired a bigger, a larger venue. And what happened was they, this, this lady got kidnapped. The lady got kidnapped from a hospital. Because the lady had heard about the miracles that happened in your church we went there 19 years ago. And so this lady had a friend who was dying in hospital. She had four, about three or four months to live. Her whole body was breaking down. She was swollen. She had sores all over her. And so, and so, and so, and so the hospital wouldn't let her out. And she finally said, listen, do you mind if I just come up? She's so ill. Can I just take her for out in the garden and wheel her around in the garden to cheer her up? She says, okay, you've, you've got an hour. So the lady actually kidnapped her. She 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 organised a she, she's a wheelchair organised a wheelchair cab. She came home to Cairns based hospital, and he wheeled her out. And then they were looking. She she actually got her into got her into the um into the wheelchair um, cab, the big cab. Took her to the COC. Anyway, and what happened? She she was so ill. She had all sores. Her whole immune system was broken down swollen, she's puffed, really, really is very, very ill, pain all over her. And they, they had it in the front of the meeting. 
And you know what? This morning, if we weren't here, we saw many people get healed. All I did was, uh, was just sitting there. I, took, I took, put my hand on her. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command this to leave. And she shook and she went limp in the wheelchair. Anyway, and later she testified, all that she stood up and said, all the pain has gone. I feel fantastic. But the, but the problem was the lady was a bit over an hour. About four hours later, she got in big trouble. But when she came back, the lady walked into the hospital totally healed. Anyway, anyway, this is my first meeting in Cairns. I came back to the same church a year later. And uh, anyway, the pastor of the church says to me, John, I want to get a lady to get up and share something before you start the meeting. And it's a well-dressed lady, hair done. She walked up to the stage. I said, oh, I wonder who that lady is. She said, she said, I was here a year ago. I had months to live. And my friend very cheekily told them I was, I was going to go for a walk in the garden. And she got a cab and she, she got me to the meeting and I was totally healed. And she, and she said, oh, she, and you wouldn't recognise it. I want to tell you, some people are dying on the inside. You might be dying physically. You're dying spiritually. You've been told you've got months or you've, you've got no hope. You've got no future. That lady had a wonderful future. I saw another year after that as well. And maybe you're, you're in a desperate situation. I tell you what, there's an open heaven here. There's power in the name of Jesus to set the captives free. And we had, uh, I said I shared that last week I was in a church and the pastor had arthritis and, and uh, after prayer he ran around the church. But in the same meeting, the, the word got out to the community. There was miracles happening. And there's a very well-known doctor in the community who had motor neuron. Now, the medical world says that's incurable. But, this, but, but if you're, his doctor said you're going to be dead in two years so, and he could barely walk. He struggled on a walker. And this guy was a very respected doctor and they had, had like a GoFund thing to try and raise money for more treatment. And, but anyway, he came to the meeting. He sat in the second row and his walker next to him. And I didn't know he was a doctor. I didn't know what, what, what was wrong with him. And then Tom came to pray. He said, I've got motor and urine that give me two years. And I, and I said, do I have seen that hill before? He said, what? I said, I've seen that hill before. And all of a sudden, you know what? You know what? Sometimes we need to know there's hope. In the name of Jesus, there's hope. And so when the time came, I got him up and prayed. And he had, had braces on his leg. And after prayer, all of a sudden, strength came. He walked for the length of the church and back. He said, I couldn't do this before. When I first got him up, he said, walk like that, but he couldn't move one leg and he had to go, go like that. And then he's walking up and down and then he took the brace off and for two hours he walked around chatting to people. He said, I'm a medical doctor. I'm a medical doctor. This isn't supposed to happen. But I want to tell you, this is last weekend, I want to tell you, in the name of Jesus... We had SBS come once and the documentary was just canned because they'd filmed too many miracles. A guy with motor neuron was in a wheelchair. He couldn't even move his legs. Last stages of motor neuron. After prayer, he'd lift his leg. I said, get out of that chair. Pulled him up. He walked around. His wife screamed. You see it on YouTube. His wife screamed. Because people who are disabled aren't supposed to do this sort of thing. But, but when the power of God gets involved, when faith gets involved, the impossible happens. And I can share, I want to share a story. I shared this in the first service, but I tell you what, there's power in the name of Jesus. And in, in, in Acts chapter 3, I'll take the story from there. Now, Peter and John were going up to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. Peter and John had this habit as Jews going to the main temple and praying. And I can imagine every time they were, they were in Jerusalem, the main temple, there they were in that place. It was their habit to go there. And, and, and Jesus would have gone there too. It was their habit as Jews to go, the, go to the uh, temple and pray. But there's another man who also had a, had a habit to go there. But this man had a major problem. It says in verse 2, And a man lame from birth was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, that is called the beautiful gate, to ask alms or to beg of those entering the temple. So this guy had a habit too. The habit was in the morning he'd probably get up, have his breakfast, whatever, and they'd probably have him on the pallet and they'd carry him to the main temple because that was his turf. You know, you know beggars have turf. You know, one beggar can't reinvade the other beggar's turf. There'd be, there'd be trouble, man. There'd be a rumble going on. But he had his little, little patch where he would stand there and ask for money. And we don't know how many years, but probably year and year. He lay from birth. Probably many years, his habit was that. 
His whole world consisted of a little world getting up and being laid at that temple. And what happened was this, was that um, God was about to turn his world upside down. Who knows the Lord can break into our routine and and smash us out of that routine. A lady came this morning, just at the end, she had blurred vision, losing her sight. And even with the glasses, it was blurred. She couldn't see people's faces at all. And when about 10 minutes before we finished, all of a sudden she said, I can see, I can see. Without her, gla- in her glasses on, because she had surgery went wrong for cataracts or something and effect- it broke, affected the nerves, I can see all faces clearly. You know, one miracle after another. That is medically impossible. But today, miracles will happen here because Jesus is alive. And all of a sudden, so, so Peter and John walking along, but Peter and John on this particular day were not the same men who usually walked to that temple. Because something special happened to them. We look at Acts, Acts chapter 1. Jesus said, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Now, you know that the disciples saw people healed under the ministry of Jesus. But when Jesus left, he said, I will send a comforter. I will send the Holy Spirit to you. And he'll baptize you with fire. Amen. If it's ever day we need the fire of God, it's today, the fire of the Holy Ghost. So Peter and John this day, they weren't the same men. And here's this guy sitting there begging. It said here, and, he, and, um, and they laid him dead. He said he could beg at those entering the temple. And suddenly Peter and John came by. Peter and John must have seen that man many times. The man must have seen Peter and John many times. It was their habit to be there. But all of a sudden, the man, the Bible says that the man, all of a sudden, seeing Peter and John going to the temple, he asked to receive alms. He began begging from them. And all of a sudden, Peter said, look at us. He fixed his, his attention, his gaze upon them, expecting to receive something from them. See, in his little world, he was expecting something far lower than what God had for him. A few coins. And maybe you're coming expecting not for much to happen. Oh, well, another another meeting. I'll just come along and just see what happens. God has a lot more for you than what you can ever imagine. And all of a sudden, he's sitting there expecting to receive a handful of coins. But God had amazing things for him. God has so much for you that you can ever imagine or think. I tell you, he's the God of the impossible. And all of a sudden, he's sitting there. He said, look at us. I tell you what, the eyes of Peter weren't the same. He had the fire of God and the fire of the Holy Ghost that came upon him. Look at us. And the man looked up, expecting to receive a few coins. And then Peter said, silver and gold that I have none. I don't have money or silver and gold. But what I have I give unto you. He grabbed him by the right hand and pulled him up. And the bowl of the power came to his ankles. And all of a sudden he began walking and leaping and praising God. God has so much more for you. Maybe you've been prayed for many, many times. Well, I've been healed before. I don't know. I tell you, today is a day for a miracle for you today. And this morning, God touched many people and and this meeting will be the same. The power of God is going to touch people watching this program. I want to tell you, as I pray, the power of God can touch you right now where you are. There's an open heaven. There's anointing. You're in a church that believes in the power of the Holy Spirit. Last night with Pastor, um, Pastor Stuart, it was great talking about things of the Spirit. I think to the Holy Ghost. I love that. If you're a visitor, you need to be in a place where, where people want to, want to pray for you and see you healed and delivered. And so silver and gold have none. And he took by the hand. I took power came into his, in his feet. The same power flowed into that doctor. He was he was in shock. But as a medical person, I shouldn't be doing I shouldn't be doing this. Two hours walking around talking to people. He was a lame man. Shouldn't be doing this. Is medically impossible. And I'll put it up on YouTube a bit later. But uh, on our YouTube, you got so many miracles. One guy came along with a broken neck, quadriplegic, for paralyzed from the neck down. And uh, and he's in this electronic wheelchair. And he come. I was doing a conference actually, a meeting. Then they wheeled him in. I just prayed for him, nerve pain, had a football accident. And, um, and doctors told him, you'll never, ever, ever walk again. But the power of God got a hold of him. I prayed for him because I prayed for a lot of people. 
and, and they, they wheeled him out, they got him in the electronic wheelchair, they put him in the back of the van, drove him home. And all of a sudden they pull up at the house, they hear a strange noise. The man hopped out of the back, got out of the van and walked into his home. And you, you know what? You can go on YouTube and watch that. That same man give his testimony. You see me praying for him. And he said, he said, doctor said, I'll never, ever, ever walk broken neck, paralyzed from neck. But, but Jesus got him. And I want to tell you that Jesus breaks in on our routines. He does the impossible continually. Today he'll do the impossible. But he'll walk in and leave him praising God. Tell you what, God had so much more for him what he could ever imagine. And God has so much for you. So much for you. I tell you what, it's by simple childlike faith. I was at, I was at um, Chasgula's church on Gold Coast. A man came who was blind in a wheelchair for nine years, blind, paralyzed and, and blind. And, and today, tonight, film that. The man got healed, walked up the steps and could see perfectly. And he got a job. He ended up being one of the head chief um, security at Brisbane Airport. And Channel 7 interviewed him. They said, well, how did this happen? And, 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 and the, um, his doctor said, we must admit the change has been remarkable. <laughs> the change has been remarkable. You know, they can't say too much. The change has been remarkable. Yeah, he was blind in a Pharaoh Palace and wheelchair. The change has been remarkable. I tell you what, Jesus is remarkable. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you go on YouTube, you can see an interview of the TV and every night walking up. They filmed him when he got healed. And so they sent a TV reporter to, to talk for what was going on, and the TV reporter got healed. Nick Coe from Channel 9 got healed. You see that too. They came to investigate is this real? And when God healed him, healed him, he said, oh, I feel heat. He said, I must say, this is real. I want to tell you that Jesus is real. Yeah. And the power of all is present to heal. Jesus. Silver and gold, I have none. I don't carry a lot of gold, gold and silver around with me. I tell you what, I've got the fire and the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. The church needs the. A re- I love talking to man. I love talking to Stuart. Man, the Holy Ghost. Talk about things that are Holy Ghost and, and power. I love that. I love that because I, I can't talk like that to everybody, every church leader. So I love, appreciate you, mate. God bless you. He, 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 I tell you what, he, he, he stands for this thing. It's, it's alive. We need it. We need to stand for. But right now, people here, you, people need miracles here. People need miracles. And there's some people visiting for the first time, and I, and I mentioned some of those conditions, and so on here. You're so haven't prayed for. You've got terrible pain all through your body. Where are you? you need a miracle. You're suffering right now. Suffering pain goes all through your body. Where are you? You need a miracle. Right now, it's like, a, I don't know if it's from around your after right, but it's in your joints, inflammation, a lot of pain all through your body. We need it right now. You feel it right now, actually. In fact, it's from your neck, it's like in your shoulders, and like, oh man, where are you? It even goes to the back of your head. Where are you? God wants to heal that right now. You feel it in your body. God, God bless you, man. What's your name? Jenny. And Jenny, what are you suffering from? Uh, I suffer from my head and my neck. And how long have you had that for? Um, that two months. Wow, and you feel the pain right now. Yeah. How bad is the pain? Uh, it's not too much, but I feel pain and headache. Wow. Can we pray for that? Can we reach out right now? Let's pray. Yeah, well, thank you. <laughs> for a miracle. God, set it free right now. Yeah. Out, out, it's your foot, a foot, a foot, off her head and her spine right now. Set her free and out, it's your foot, let her go. Out from her head, her neck, her back and her mind right now. Set her free. 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 And God release her mind too, Jesus. God release her mind. Set her free. In the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Excuse me. All of it now. 
Try it now. Try your head. How's that move, feeling? Move your, move your neck. How's that feeling? What's happening now? Feel good. It's good now. Pain gone. Give a hand, everybody. Move right around. Right around. Move right around. Move your neck. Everywhere. everywhere. Move right around. Right around. Right around. What are you feeling right now? I feel better. Isn't God good to you? Yeah. And God reads her mind too. Yes. Hallelujah! Ow. Hallelujah! Now. Hallelujah. And what's wrong? What's wrong? Are you having pain right now? Same pain. This lady here, here right now. Right now. It's this lady in blue. Come out here right now. And so what's wrong with you? I had an eye procedure in my left eye. Hang on, uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am, 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 ma excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, good on you. And, and so, <laughs> I had an eye procedure for double vision and squint and it affected a nerve, which the pain went right through, it's still. So you've got pain right now, mm -hmm. and you've blurred vision as well? well i got that? double vision. Double vision? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your name? Kate. So how long have you had, had blurred, painful, pain, double vision for? How long? Nine years. Can we pray this lady? She, can we be sharing it right now? She needs a miracle from God. We're going to pray, just relax, Lord Jesus, right now. God, right now I command you, I to be healed, free. Out, out, out. Clear vision, no double vision. And all the pain to leave her right now. In the name of of Jesus. Free. Let it go out, 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 out. Heal that damage. No more double vision and no more pain. In Jesus' wonderful name, set her free. And God, touch your mind, all the pressure she's been under with this Jesus, release her right now. How's that feeling? Is the pain gone? Mm -hmm. Give a lot of hand, everybody. <laughs> and, um, and how's your eye going? At the moment, I can see one. You can see well? One. You see one? One vision. Give a lot of hand, everybody. <laughs> so, so the Bible says we can lay hands on the sick. So, so, so how's it feel to be pain-free and see normal again? Fab. <laughs> fantastic. Come on, G, give him more. Jesus is fantastic. So, I said, where are you from originally? Wales. <laughs> Wales. And so, so how long did you have it for? Well, 18, I had an operation that caused double vision. And then when I was 40, I had a corrective procedure and it gave severe pain for all those years. So, so, so how many years is that all up? Um, nine years. So nine years you had pain, double vision. Mm -hmm. Pain's gone, you see clearly now. Yeah. Give a lot of hand, everybody. <laughs> I had a confession to you. I shouldn't say the confession. The, the man who was blind in a wheelchair, he, if he got healed, he got a job, job at a strip club as a bouncer. There you go. <laughs> but then, then, he, then God touched him. He got out of that. He became a security guard. Yeah. This lady here, what can I pray here? Come on. What's up? Lolly. <laughs> What's up? I have been pinned on my neck in here and low back, mostly 20 years. Yeah. Last Thursday, because in the city scan set my joint, the spine, they getting all the sort of things happen and then very sore. Uh, last Thursday, I went to CT scan for the injection here, um, for a strawberry injection and whatever. But still so I have to go second injection. But so how bad is the pain? Uh, pain in my head, side, in your neck, and to my shoulder. And how long have you had it? Oh, long time. What's your name? Sylvia. Can we reach out for Sylvia? She's a miracle. 
God right now I command this to go. Let it go out, out, off this head. Let it go now. Free, 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 off this body now. In the name of Jesus, set Sylvia free. Out, out, free, free. A miracle in Jesus' name. The Bible says believers can lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Never, never. Hey, Sylvia. And go heal her emotions, ready to go out. Go heal that grief. Heal that grief right now. With attention and the grief free. Out, let it go. Let it go now. Out, 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 now. How's it feeling now? Move your neck, move your neck. How's it feeling? I'm good. Good now? Yeah. Give a little hand, everybody. Yeah. Well, before I saw you here, I sit down there. But now I feel good. It's gone now. Yeah. yeah. God, awesome Jesus. <laughs> and never the same again. Never. Ever the same again. Never. <laughs> wow, well, when I was praying, could you feel any strange sensation? Yeah. Did you feel as God touch you? Yeah. What did you feel? I feel something just come on my body. It just left you? Yeah. Give a lot of hand. Hey, God bless you. Now, can you let him paint the body? This lady here, this lady here, she got pain in the body. She's suffering pain. We'll pray for a minute. This lady here, and um, what's your name? Michelle. And Michelle, what do you need prayer for? Oh, I got a migraine, and my neck is really sore in my shoulder. How long have you had all this for? Oh, it's on and off for years. Wow. Can we pray for this lady? Can we reach out right now? God, migraines go right now. Reach her neck and her body. See, the Bible just says we can pray for the sick. All I do is what the Bible says. John Miller cannot heal, but Jesus can. And Jesus said believers, believers can lay hands on the sick. If you're a believer, you're a candidate to pray for the sick. And God... Set her free. And what's wrong? What's wrong here? What's wrong here, ma'am? I have pain. Where is it? All over my body. Over here. You have emotional pain too. Yeah. What's your name? Carla Tito. Can we pray for this lady? So how long have you, how long have you had pain all for your body for? Eight years. Come on, she needs a miracle. The power of the Lord's present here, Jesus. God, heal her body, heal her emotion. Now, go. out. Go. 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 And just, let's, help, let's help Michelle up here. Gentle with her, fellas. Just gentle with this lady here. Excuse me. Never. Never. You see, when Peter grabbed that man by the hand, lifted him up, lifted him up power flowed. That power still flows 2,000 years later. Oh, Michelle, turn around here. What's going on now? What's happening? Oh, my God. I <laughs> feel happened? lighter. Pardon? I feel lighter. And how's your head going, your neck, everything? Oh, I feel so light. Is it gone now? I think so. Did you find it? No. Give her a hand. <laughs> but what I have, I give unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Get up and walk. He's here right now. He's here. You can't see him, but he's here. I really want to encourage you, if you live in Cairns, this church has been fasting and believing God for God to move. I, lo I love that. I love that. To believe God. There's, see, that man was believing for a few little coins. And, it, you know, spiritually, some people believe for a few little coins spiritually. But God says, I've got so much more for you. Yeah, yeah. To be filled with the Holy Spirit, baptized in the Holy Ghost, and power and fire. 
Hey, God, and, and when I was praying, Michelle, what, what did you feel go through you? Oh, I don't know. I feel so cold and... It's, strange sensation. It's, it's very strange. I never felt that before. You're very happy. I am. I feel so light. So light? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and let's help, let's help this lady out here. What's happening to this woman here? Let's help this lady out here. Something's happening to her too. Yeah, someone would think that Jesus was here. Excuse me. And uh, what are you feeling? Good. Where's the pain now? It's gone. After eight years. Yeah. Let's go for a walk. Is it for eight years? Yeah. You look a bit stunned. I am stunned. <laughs> The last time I was stunned was when, it was when I first saw Julie. <laughs> Shh. Come on, she's... You know what? Excuse me, Michelle. What did the doctor say? And diagnosed with bipolar and schizophrenia. And you'll say physical pain with that? Yeah. Jesus, I come get schizophrenia. We've seen God heal schizophrenia before. We really have. My breath gets you free in you right now. Peace for her mind. Get her, let her go. Out, out, out. Single mind. Single mind. Restoration. 100% Jesus. So he took him by the hand and power flowed. In the name of this lady here, you have to pray too. And what's up with you? Um, so for the last year of. I've had horrible um, chronic neck pain all the way down to my lower back. And um, I have these horrible migraines um, because I have short-sightedness. And when I wear the glasses, my eyes hurt. When I Take off your glasses. When I'm not wearing them, they hurt. <laughs> Heal it, Jesus. I declare a miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Of now let it go out. Now. Free. Free in Jesus' name. No more migraines. Set her free for more pain. Touch her eyes. Touch everything right now. Miracle in Jesus' name. Heal her emotions too, God. Heal her emotions, Jesus. Anyway, if you, if you go on YouTube, you see the things I'm talking about, you'll see it. To go on YouTube, John Mellon, you'll see it. Help her up here. Let's find out what's happened to this woman. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> help, fellas, help, 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 help. Oh, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? <laughs> There's no more pain. <laughs> Thank you. Let it go. All of it. Every last bit. And so we have seminars where I teach you about healing. Teach you about how to heal the sick. Because, you know, the world needs to know that Jesus is alive and real. Yes! And really, as, as the, the, the church, the church is like God's, um, how do you call it? It's God's embassy. Embassy. This is God's embassy in the town where we, where we are ambassadors to go out in the world to show the world that Jesus is alive. In fact, in the early church, they call Christians Christians because the word Christian means like a little Jesus. They saw Christians do what Jesus did. They began to call them Christians because they were like Jesus. That's where the word came from. Let's help her up now. What are you feeling right now? Just overwhelming peace. Still, it's still blurry. Well, the pain's gone. It is, yeah. And the pain was there for how long? The pain from my neck, that was a year, chronic. and Every day? It never went away. Now it's gone now. Just, just, just move your neck around, move it around, right around. Right. Oh, it's wonderful. Come on, Jesus, wonderful. And God. Jesus. And God, can catch the vision as well. Julie, you're going to do a couple of pain when? Thank you, keep, keep praying, keep praying. Let's come out here, lady. These people here. G'day, mate. 
And you have to pray, man. Yes, please. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, I've, I've had uh, vomiting and, and continuous vomiting. What's it caused from? Uh, like gastro, and they sort of kind of pinpoint. And hey, what do doctors say it is? They can't pinpoint what it is. And you've got pain, discomfort down there? No, yeah. What do you feel? Every, and so how long you had this for? Nausea every day. You get nausea all the time? Yeah. How long have you had nausea for? It's, it's about 11 years. Been, every day? Every day. What's your name? Irvin Cedar. Can we pray for Irvin? You know what? The power of the Lord's present hill. You married in 11 years of nausea. Come on, church. Let's, can we join our faith together? This man needs a miracle. Stand, stand, stand back from him. It's all right. Let's reach out right now. Let him go out. Off him now in the name of Jesus. Out. Let him go. I command to leave his body right now. Out. Out. Let him go now. In the name of Jesus, I declare never, never, never the same again. Never. And God, help touch his mind with the stress he's been under and tormental torment. I declare your peace that passes all understanding. Please, Irvin, right now, I declare never, ever let him go. The blood of Jesus, set him free now. <sighs> never the same again. Let's help Irvin. Irving. He's all right. He's right. Just help him up, fellas. Help him up. Oh, help him up. Excuse me. Never. Never. The same. Again. The same power that flowed in that man 2,000 years ago still flows today. And still sets the captives free today, 2,000 years later. Because Jesus is alive. Evan, come over here, mate. What are you feeling now? Feelings that I haven't felt before. Just you feeling good? Yeah, I feel better. Where's it? Nausea gone? It's gone, yeah. After 11 years, give the Lord a big hand for that one. What now? So, I try to, so what does it feel like to have no nausea every day? How does it feel to be nausea free? Oh, good, better. I can get back to life. Yeah, I had to quit my job because of the. I couldn't work every time I work. Let's go for a walk, man. Eleven, it's about eleven years. But in the name of Jesus, the impossible takes place. And you're his wife. Come over. He said he's got no nausea. Yes. It's amazing, isn't it? It is. So, so how did you, is this your church here? I've come here um, three weeks ago. Yeah, I started coming here. So, so, so you found it, how did you find out about the meeting? Uh, uh, my friend told us about you coming here, so she invited us here for the... Uh, your husband has no nausea? Yeah. It is amazing. We've, I've gone through with this with my husband for 11 years. And so, when you pray by faith, power flows. Power. Holy Ghost power. And uh, you can now go out now and eat whatever you want. Yeah. What's the first thing you're going to eat? I don't know. A roast. A roast, yeah. <laughs> they have roast here. By the way, I will say, last time I was here, the roasts are very nice. <laughs> they are very, very nice roasts. And so, and so, and so with that nausea, was there any pain before? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you have pain now? No, no pain now. No, no feeling of uh, throwing up. Yeah. So you always feel like throwing up? Yeah, just the little nausea. What are they awful? I've got to watch what I eat and everything. Yeah, all my favourite food gone. Now, what's your favourite food? Mac Maccas. <laughs> Jesus, deliver him! Yeah. Deliver this man! Yeah. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right, mate. Come on, come on. This is the, go this is the gospel. Come on, this is the full gospel. 
is the full gospel. Excuse me. And so he said he likes Maccas. He does. You like Maccas too? No. <laughs> You're going to try and reform him? No. <laughs> Who knows? We're going to fun in church, can't we? But what an awesome God. What an awesome God we serve. Because uh, it made me a miserable person. And I, I'm, I'm, not that, I'm not that type of person. I like to be happy. And You're smiling now. Yeah, I am. Thank you. Give, Thank give you. her a big Oh, ho, ho. oh, ho, 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 ho. God bless you, mate. It's Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's the same Jesus in the Bible you read about. Because it's truth. You know what? The Bible isn't truth. You wouldn't see miracles happen. It'd be just a, a, some kind of a fantasy, but it's truth. In his name, we see the impossible happen. Hey, God bless you guys. Thank you. What an awesome God. And who's, which, which, which one? This lady here. God bless you, man. What's your name? Cecilia. It's Sylvia. No, it's Cecilia. Oh, Cecilia. And so, you're, so are you also suffering too? Yeah. What are you suffering from, Cecilia? I'm suffering with migraine, headache, and pain. So. And, and, so, and so where's the pain in your body? No, you're all over. Well, like, so how long have you been suffering from, Cecilia? For a good while. How long is that, do you think? Since I was a teenager. Well, she, she, Cecilia needs a miracle from God. Can we reach out for Cecilia? The power of the Lord is present to heal in this place. You know God's going to touch you, don't you, Cecilia? Let's pray, church. Out. 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 Off this body now. Let her go now. In the wonderful name of Jesus. And with her mind to God. Release her mind, Jesus. Never the same again. All pain, her whole body, and God releases Cecilia's emotions, coming as grief and torment. God, we declare your peace that passes all understanding in Jesus' wonderful name. You know, Jesus really loves us, God really loves you. And one way He manifests, there's one of the ways, many ways, He wants to touch us with His love. And, um, and the Lord not only touches us physically, but emotionally. Let's help Cecilia up, fellas. Let's help her up. Let's see what God's been doing. Oh, excuse me. Oh, help, help her up, help her up. Help her up. Oh, what's this? Oh, Cecilia. Come over here. How are you feeling? Good. Where's the pain now? It's all gone. Give the Lord a hand, everybody. And that was there since you were a little girl. Yeah. She left you. Yeah. Something just left Cecilia. You can't see it, but the power of God's power of the Lord is searching for you right now. Her mind, her body. Never, ever the same again. Never. Never. And Lord, heal her deep on the inside of the grief, turmoil. And we, de we declare your peace that passes all understanding. People just need the peace of God, don't they? It's amazing. Virtually everyone I pray for, they say, I feel peace. Because God also wants to touch your emotions. Never the same again. Now, when I was praying, Cecilia, could you feel God touch you? What did you feel? Try and explain it. It was something I haven't felt for a long time. Did it feel good? It felt really good. <laughs> it feels good when God touches you. Hey, God bless Cecilia. Let me shake your hand. Sure. <laughs> God bless you. Give a lot of hand, everybody. Can I have this lady here? Come here, ma'am. 
Very soon, and those streaming in from around the world, I'll be doing a corporate prayer, and God heals people all the time on corporate prayer. We've seen people in COVID ICUs, you know, people only had hours to live totally healed through prayer. And, and what they've done, got the mobile phone, they've put them on into, the, into the ward, the person's even in a coma, and they've come out of the coma. Amazing, amazing miracles. And what's your name? Robin. And Robin, what do you need prayer for? A whole heap of things. You got a list. <laughs> Well, I could have. Well, she's uh, just laughing about it. When I was 14, I had a car accident yeah. that caused problems with my spine. Um, but 13 weeks ago, I had a fall and dislocated my shoulder. Oh, wow. And broke the ball on my terrible. shoulder bone. So I can only lift the arm that way. Turn around here, Barbara. Turn around here. Robin. Robin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but, uh, she looks like a Barbara Julie, I think. Anyway, uh, sh 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 I'll hold your hand. Show me how far can you raise your left arm? I can only lift it. Is that painful? Yeah. Church, R Robin needs a miracle from Jesus, doesn't she? Her back, her arm. But you know what? The power of the Lord is present to heal. Can we reach out to Robin right now? Robin, just relax. Just right now. I'll hold you, Robin. I've got you. Won't fall. I've got you. Don't pray. Just relax like a little child. Relax and receive. Let's pray, church. Jesus, right now, miracle for Robin. God, create a miracle for the right shoulder. Even create that ball in the arm. Command all the pain to go right now, restriction to go. And get all the pain with her spine. Come get your shock and trauma of his injury, Jesus. Right now, right down her spine. I've got you, Robin. Right now, God, set Robin free now. Free. Right down the spine right now. In the name of Jesus, all pain and all restrictions go right now. Brand new shoulder for Robin. Brand new right shoulder. In the wonderful name of Jesus, be healed. Free. Pour it in, Lord. Miracle. Miracle for Robin. In Jesus' wonderful name. Hey Robin, raise your right arm. Up, 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 up. Is that higher than before? Higher than before. Jesus, even more for Robin. More. Thank you, Jesus. For her right shoulder and her back free. Raise it again. Up, 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 up. That's higher. Even more. Something's happening to her shoulder. More. 100% free. Thank you, Jesus. 100% free. Free. Raise it up. Up, 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 up. That's higher than before, isn't it? It's getting me. It is getting there. Something's happening. The doctor said I'd never get Turn again. Full, the doctor said I would never get full use of my shoulder again. Every woman needs her rolling pin shoulder healed. <laughs> a rolling pin arm healed. Yeah. She's right now. Hundred percent. Cent per cent. All of it, Jesus. Raise it up. Up, 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 up. Right oh, Jesus. Up here. This one's got torn ligaments in the shot. Torn ligaments too? I didn't know about that one. Jesus, get the torn ligament one too. Get the torn ligament one too, Jesus. That's a sneaky one, isn't it? That torn ligament one. We've got to kind of ambush this one. Sneak up on it. Lord, get this right, left one too, and the right one. Okay, raise both arms. Up, 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 up,
It feels okay at the moment. It feels okay? Yeah. Put your hands up, just relax. Now, I want you to think about McDonald's. <laughs> I don't like McDonald's. What do you think about, Julie? <laughs> think about fruit. Do you like fruit? Yes. Think about big, luscious coconuts. No. no. <laughs> strawberries, strawberries. Yes. Okay, raise up again. Up, 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 a lot further than I How was. How long has it been since you get that, get that high? Uh, over 13 weeks. Wow. One more time. Jesus, 100%. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God will keep touching Thank your you shoulders. Lord. Yeah. One more time. Up, 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 up. Yeah. That's pretty high. Yeah. Let's go for a walk. Yeah. How does it feel to walk? Yeah, it feels good. It feels good. Walk around here, turn around. Yeah. It feels good to walk. Hmm? Is a pain going now for your body? From the back, yeah. Yeah, there's still a little bit in the shoulder. So the hell it was in your back for? Uh, I had the car accident when I was 14. <gasps> All those years. And I'm 75 now. Oh, that's the most major miracle of the whole day a woman told me her age. <laughs> some miracles are instant, but sometimes you've got to work the miracle by faith to keep praying. Is that It's easier. Um, I have been able to walk reasonably well. My doctor told me after the fall that I had to use the walker because of my age and the possibility of falling again. You know, Robin, you are really a spring chicken. Yes. Oh, I know. <laughs> 70, you know what? This is, you, know, you, you don't believe? 75 is a new 55. Yes. I, be, I really believe that. Yes. Yes. I, he believes that. Yes. Okay, well, well, free, free, more, free, strengthen. And the, so the pains, a lot of pain left your back. And the back, the pain is not there at, at all at the moment. But that was there every day? Every day, yes. Wow. Since you were a child? Since I was 14. Is that pretty cool? Raise your arm. And God will, God will keep touching you. God bless you. And right now, I'm going to do a corporate prayer for those people out there. God can heal you in your seat, your viewers. And out here, we have people, he we have people healed this morning. I didn't touch them. I tell you what, God's going to touch you in your seats as an act of faith. As I pray over you right now, put your hand on the part of your body where you need a miracle and the power of God's going to come and touch you right now. If you've got an eye problem, put your hand on your eyes. If you've got deafness or ring of the ears, put your hands on your ears. Got a lump, put your hand over the lump. Let's just pray. I'm going to pray right now. Just relax and receive. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing right now. The infirmity go in Jesus' name. I command pain go right now. Arthritis go. Fibromyalgia go. All nerve pain go now. In the name of of Jesus, heal eyes right now, blurred vision right now, third vision, detached retina right now, macular degeneration, glaucoma, every short sightedness, long sightedness, heal eyes right now, eyes be healed in the name of Jesus, set them free in deafness, ring of the ears, open the ears right now, no more ringing, no more of deafness, heal them right now, even those viewing right now, set them free right now in the name of of Jesus, frozen, damaged shoulders be healed in Jesus' name. Spines be healed right now. Tower bones right now. That all the damage in the neck and the shoulders, frozen shoulders and damaged shoulders be healed now in the name of Jesus. Set them free, Lord God. Every person here right now, deliver them. Every disease that break cancer right now. I command every cancer cell to die. Every tumor shrink them disappear. I come against the effects of cancer treatment radiation and chemo, neuropathy and damaged nerves. Heal them right now. Heal that damage right now. Cancer be healed right now. Skin cancer. I command skin cancer dry off and fall off. Melanomas, all cancers. 
go in Jesus' name. Set them free in Jesus' wonderful name. And depression right now is depression, oppression, addiction and fear, anxiety and torment. Release minds now in Jesus' name. I break every curse right now. We declare the finished work of the cross of Calvary. Be healed in Jesus' name. Every person, deliver them sinuses right now. Let sinuses be healed. TMJ, jaw problems, tooth problems, toothaches and gum disease, pain in the mouth, pain in the jaw. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Set them free. Every condition right now. God heals schizophrenia and bipolar right now. Autism right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Set them free, God. Every person, set them free right now. We declare it in the name of Jesus. Deliverance right now. Heal every heart problem right now. Heart murmurs, revelation right now. All sorts of heart problems and chest pains. God, heal the organs, liver disease, liver problems, kidney failure right now. Heal incontinence and bladder problems, endometriosis, swelling of the abdominal, abdominal pain and swelling and problems. Be healed now in Jesus' name. Bowel cancer, liver cancer. Cancer, right? Kidney cancer, right now. Lung cancer, all cancers to be healed in the name of Jesus. Set them free right now. God, a miracle will come against itchiness, heal skin diseases and skin problems, wounds that won't heal. Right now, eczema and cirrhosis right now. Heal them right now in Jesus' name. Deliver them right now. We thank you, God, for your anointing that's flowing and setting people free in Jesus' wonderful name. Every condition. God, God, you know what people are believing for. I stay with them right now. I break diabetes right now. I decree a miracle for pancreas is right now. Normal insulin levels, normal, normal blood sugar levels. Be healed in Jesus' name. Every disease, every problem, a miracle right now, God. Deliver them. We thank you, Holy Ghost. Come, move, move right now. And we pray for those who believe for loved ones who couldn't come here, who could be living elsewhere, even other countries or other states or other parts of the city who aren't here. Let the same anointing power right now flow into their bodies, flow into their minds and set them free all across the world. Let your anointing come and set them free in Jesus' name. Set them free. Every condition I stand with. A miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Set them free right now. We thank you, God, for your power that's flowing over this place right now. Thank you for your anointing right now for healing people and setting people free. Thank God, pain leaving bodies. Thank you, God. Someone here, the problem breathing, you can breathe in, you can breathe deeper right now. Someone here, you have like a tennis elbow elbow thing, you have a right arm and that has gone right now. I mentioned shoulders, so on here, especially your left shoulder, you find that's been loosened right now in Jesus' name. So you had a pain on the left side of your hip. I don't know, there's like a catching. God's in healing this hip right now. We thank you, God, right now for touching those people in your wonderful name. So on here, it's like, you're, you're like a black cloud over your mind. It's just, it's just seems to hang around and now that's, it's just like it's going or something's happening to you like this peace is coming out of your mind God's delivering you the power of the Lord is present to heal in this place and we thank you God right now in your wonderful name now right now I want you to set yourself out if you had pain anywhere try and find that pain uh, if you had a lump try and find the lump uh, if, like just yourself if you couldn't raise your arm raise your arm if you couldn't sort of um, put pressure on your foot put pressure on your foot touch yourself out right now and if you sense a symptom leave you, God, heal you in some way, just raise your arm right now. Where are you? Just come out those people right now. That, like, that lady is quite, did God touch you? Come out here, right? Did God touch you? Has God healed you? Come out here, lady, over here. I like your shirt. Oh, thank you. So, what's your name? Megan. Megan, how did God touch you? Uh, my low, uh, lower back's gone. So what happened then? I, um, I accidentally injured it during placement. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It just left you just then? Yeah. You were sitting with your hand on your back? Yeah. Did you feel anything? Yeah, it was just like a piece and then it just disappeared. And the pain just disappeared? Mm. That was there for how long? About two weeks. <laughs> a lot of hand. Let's go over here. Good day, Matt. What's your name? Max. And Max, how did God touch you? I've had calcification in my shoulder and I couldn't raise my right um, shoulder. Well, raise it up. Yeah, right up now. Wow. <laughs> and no pain. 
No pain. No pain. And so, so, so how long did you have that for, Max? Um, I probably have five years, but it's been... Doc- <laughs> Sorry. Got carried away. So five years? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, sitting there, you just put your hand there as I was praying. Yes. Is you feeling strange sensation? Yes. What did you feel? Uh, it's like a warmth going through my shoulder, yeah. Is that cool? You've got to realise no one laid hands on Max. All that lady, God just got them. And you know what? You know what happens to a lot of people? A lot of people mightn't feel anything initially, but at five minutes later, ten minutes, hour, even the next day, they find themselves healed. Who else got touched as we were praying? Maybe, maybe even as I was praying before. Where are you? There's other people here God's been touching. Where are you? Anybody else here? Others, I mean, here's a person with the arm. Come out here. Oh, you all got arms, I suppose. But, but <laughs> his arms. I'm armless sometimes. <laughs> hey, mate, what's your name, mate? Uh, Don. How did God touch you, Don? Uh, for two years, I've had major nerve damage in my left arm, and I haven't been able to raise it higher here. than that. Here. Raise it up, mate. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That's the highest it's been in two years. So you could. So you can do that for two years? Yeah, I joined in with you on your prayers. So, so, so Don, as we were praying, you put your hand there. Yeah. Could you feel anything when I was praying? It just happened while I was uh, joining in with all your other prayers. We were praying for other people. Yeah. You know what happens is often when we're praying at the front here, God, someone just touches people in their seats. Because you've got to recognise there's an open heaven here for miracles. <laughs> and this just isn't when I'm preaching or praying... Is there's a powerful presence of God in this place. And if, if, if we could, re- could recognise that, God, God could do a lot more. But suddenly we don't recognise what God's doing. Thank you for Don Jesus. Well, and so how did you injure your shoulder? Uh, it just happened through age. I have diabetes. How old are you? Well, 74. Another spring chicken. <laughs> hey, bless you, Don. Wow. There's other people here. In fact, there's something, it's something like you had a problem with like a tennis elbow type condition and it was painful to stretch it out. Where's that person? I had that. What's wrong? I haven't told you my problems yet. Uh, let's see, what's happening? Numbness. Pardon? <gasps> Tasmania? Yes. I bet you like apples. <laughs> you like apples? Uh, my sister was at the Baptist at the Church of Christ where you performed last, week. last Sunday and she rang me up and told me all about you and everything that happened and I'm in from Ariba and I come down here to see you. Can I give a lot of, she came all the way. I don't live in Tasmania anymore, I live at Mariba. She's forsaken the snow and the cold to come to this place, all the sunshine. I don't know what's in. And so, and, 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 days of sunshine I saw when I drove in nine years ago. What's your name? Lillian. And Lillian, you. Uh, <laughs> I like this lady, but you know she stepped out and bust through the crowd and came through from Tasmania. Because my sister saw the miracles that happened there at the church, and she said, Lillian, the pa- the, see that man. The pastor got healed running around the church. Also, the miracles happened. The, the yeah. doctor never... And, yeah, and, 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 yeah, yeah. and so what do you need healing from? <laughs> what do you need healing from? Well... Do you need healing? I need healing. I have this numbness in my feet and half up my legs. I've had it for four years, and, uh, and it's coming from here... And the doctors, uh, they don't want to know me. Can you pray for her? <laughs> Heal the Tasmanian woman. <laughs> oh, Mariba. Oh, it sounds better if she comes from Tasmania, though. She's right now. The right hip. Is the, main... the right hip. Down, down the bottom of my leg. The right hip. This one. Yes. Jesus, right now. Thank you. Right now from the right hip. Help the lady from... Mariba. Mariba, who was from Tasmania. The Tasmanian Moribian. <laughs> so touch this woman, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> touch this woman right now. Holy Ghost, touch this lady. I command numbness to go. <sighs> numbness to go out. <sighs> Let's help her up, fellas. Let's help this the Moribian lady up. She's a cheerful lady. Excuse me. Help, now help, help her up. What are you, what are you doing? Do you always fall down in churches? 
<laughs> yeah, Do I, I don't. No. So, 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 how's your feet feeling? My host feet falls down. So, <laughs> the ro rolling pin. No, oh, sorry, mate, sorry. So, so, how's your feet feeling? Huh? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's yeah. go for a walk. Jeez, 100%. Go restore all feeling to her feet. You can what? Walking a bit quicker. Walking faster? You can walk fast before. No. You're walking fast now. <laughs> She's very swift. She's very quick. How's it feeling now? How's it feeling? Good, but I want my, my lungs, uh, I've got clogged up lungs too. So, so you feel you're feeling good now? Yeah. After how many years? feel good. And they're on number four. Yeah. And, and, and so Jesus touched her lungs right now. Yeah. <gasps> Touch the Moravian woman from Tasmanian's lungs. Yes. My lungs need clearing. Mucus. Yes, God, all the mucus are clear from the Moravian woman's lungs. We saw snow on the mountains in Tasmania last week. It was freezing. It was so cold. Yes, yeah, I heard about it. That even, even, the, even the penguins were shivering. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have penguins where you live? <laughs> Mariba? Yeah. You don't? No. <laughs> <laughs> How's it feeling now? Let's go, go for a walk. Go for a walk. Let's go for a walk. How's the feeling? I feel good. You're almost running then. Was I? <laughs> I saw a few little skips. I mean, this fish said I had to skip, and I said I can't skip. What's going on with lady in this church? So you look very happy now. Yeah. And your husband's filming you. Yeah. He's going to put on TikTok. <laughs> it's going to get millions of hits all around the world. You're going to be famous. They're going to be on talk back shows and everything. <laughs> yeah. The Caribbean <laughs> woman <laughs> who skips in church. I was watching you from five years ago in America being introduced, being interviewed yesterday. Were you? Yeah. Wow, that must be a Sid Roth show, was it? No, you looked a bit younger then. <laughs> <laughs> I like this lady. She goes, says, hey, God bless you, ma'am. Yeah, you too. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> what? Okay, right now, who knows, we can, we can enjoy church, can't we? We can have fun in church. But right now, I'm going to pray a very simple prayer. And the prayer is that the greatest miracle is to know the heal of Jesus. Yeah. It really is, you know, to, to know your sins are forgiven, you have eternal life. And Jesus came to bring life and give life. So uh, right now, I'm going to pray a, prayer, a simple prayer. And you know, Jesus said in one of his passages in Revelation 3.20, he said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. He's trying to get the attention of people, of human beings. You know, you know what he wants more than anything else, he wants your heart. He wants you because he loves you. He wants you. And you know, we can choose to open our heart or close our heart. You know, sometimes if we, we don't like someone, we have a bad fallout, you know, you can close your heart. And sometimes you really love someone, you're careful. See a little baby, you open your heart. You can open or close your heart. It can happen spiritually with God. And I want to encourage you, we can open our heart to Jesus today. And um, I'm going to say a simple prayer. You know, maybe you've never, ever said a prayer like this. Or maybe you're a believer, but you sort of slowly wandered away from God and you've, you really feel, you know what, there's more in God. I've been believing too far, too far down there. I want to open my heart, give my whole life to Jesus. So right now, I'm going to say a very simple prayer. You know, the smallest child can say a prayer like this. I want to invite you to say this prayer with me. We can all say this together. A simple prayer to declare. To, to, to the declaration of our love for God and opening our life to Him and serving Him. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes right now. I want to invite you to just to say this prayer together with me right now. Lord Jesus, I open the door of my heart to You. Please come into my life. Forgive me for all my sins. 
I thank you, Lord, you took all my sins on the cross. And you rose again from the dead. And thank you, Lord, for eternal life, a home in heaven. And thank you, Lord, you've promised you will never leave me nor forsake me. So, Lord, I just surrender my life to you right now. Amen. You know, there's, you know obviously, there's many ways you can say that prayer. It really is, God, here I am. I just want to walk with you. I want to love you. I want to serve you, God. Is anyone here you prayed that prayer for the first time? Or maybe you, you sense you need to come back to God? Or maybe someone viewing that, if you said that prayer too, God has heard you. Anyone here you said that prayer just then to open your heart to Jesus? Anybody? Or to get things right with Him? Anyone here? Like there may be someone brought you along today and you're the first time in church maybe. Maybe, you, maybe you've come for healing, but, but He wants your heart really more than anything else. Is anyone here like that? Because I always find that in a group this big, there's always a couple of people. But I want to encourage you, if you pray that from your heart, He has heard you. God has heard you and He has come to you. And maybe later you can talk to the pastor or some of the leaders, people serve, you'll see them serving here. Tell them, or somebody who brought you along, I said that prayer.